The old smoothie. Hello, sir. I am C3PO Human Cyborg Relations. My facilities are at your. Uh, really? We're here at Comic Con. It's the last day, Sunday. Still busy, very busy. Um, and I just wanted to show you guys one of the items we brought out for display here. This is an original C C3PO hand created for The Empire Strikes Back and likely used again in Return of the Jedi. Uh, the hands they did for Empire were different to the hands they did in the first film in that uh, the first film hands were basically a, a soft cotton black glove with individual hard armor components on them. Uh, sort of like traditional you know, medieval armor, the way that works. So for the second film, they changed the design. They went with, with the cast piece, basically just a cast rubber glove. Um, and I believe this is like a dense, heavy vinyl material. And when we spoke to the person who originally acquired it, uh, he said that when he got it, shortly after they did, or during the production of Jedi, actually, uh, it was really soft and supple. And you could pick something up with it. You could flex the fingers. There was a lot of give in the material. Over the years, it stiffened up. And, and today, it's pretty much lock solid in the shape. There's a little bit of bend in the material. But it, it doesn't uh, have that pliability as it, as it did back in the, in the day. Um, what else can I tell you about this one? This, the interesting thing about this glove is that the wires that are on the palm here are real electrical wires that have been snipped and glued on. Uh, every other C-3PO hand that we've come across has had the wires painted on. So in theory this would be some sort of a hero close-up version or possibly just an earlier one. Um, and then later they simplified the design and didn't want to spend the time putting the real wires on it. Uh, if I turn it over here, you can see the backside. You can see a lot of the plating is gone because this material is very non-porous and I think the, the plating just never stuck very well. Uh, the, the brown color, the tan color that you're seeing there is the color of the material that the piece is cast in. So I think there were a number of these C-3PO hands because they never had much luck getting the plating to stick right. And so every time one would get scraped and a bunch of plating would get rubbed off, they would just swap in a new one. And you can see it's also missing some of the details on the back of the knuckles here, uh, which are these sort of machined piston details, um, not dissimilar from things seen on his arms and his, uh, the, his forehead. Uh, and those pieces, we suspect they just took off when they retired this glove and switched them over to the next one. So, yeah, it's just, just a lovely example of an original piece of C-3PO.